If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a huge advocate of using rewards and incentives to motivate positive behavior change. However, that's not what today's video is all about. It's actually about another method of motivation that I am an advocate for, and that is using consequences. So in today's video, I will be sharing five reasons why I believe you need consequences in your classroom today. Hi everybody, Michelle Holiday here. I'm a behavior strategist and I help teachers, schools, districts, and organizations learn how to manage their students and their classrooms or educational environments with less stress and less struggle. And in today's video, we are talking all about why I believe you need to use consequences in your classroom today. Now, I already know some of you are in schools and districts who do not believe in consequences. They are a no-go in your educational environment. My first question for you is this, how is that working out for you? Okay, now before you turn the video off or move on to another video, at least give me the opportunity to share with you why I believe consequences are necessary for behavior change and are an asset to your classroom management system. When it comes to using consequences in your classroom, I believe it boils down to two things, why you're using them and how you use them. Because just like rewards and consequences, there are a variety to choose from and there are levels of intensity that can be used. Now, for the purposes of today's video, this is really about classroom consequences, not school consequences. Now, based on where you work, a policy in your school or educational system, some of those may overlap, or your leadership has given you options on which ones are okay to use. I'll be covering the types of consequences and other consequence examples in another video. But today, I really want to focus on convincing you on why you should use consequences in your classroom. So let's get started with reason number one. Reason number one, consequences motivate students to make better behavior choices. Now, I know that I've talked about how rewards and incentives can do it, but guess what? So can consequences. Think about when we drive on an interstate or just around town. You see these signs that give you the speed limit that you should follow. Now, does everyone follow the speed limit? Absolutely not. But do some of us? Yes. But at the end of the day, we know that there are consequences to not following the speed limit. And if you have ever experienced a consequence like a speeding ticket, because I have, it does influence the behavior choices you make. I don't know about you, but for me, it does motivate me to stay in the speed within the speed limit or really close to it. The same goes for consequences. The purpose of consequences is to motivate the student to make better choices or to reconsider their choices before they make them. Reason number two, consequences help reinforce your class rules and expectations. The term reinforce means to strengthen or make stronger. And so when you have consequences, it helps to reinforce following the rules and consequences in your classroom, because at the end of the day, students are aware that if they do not follow the rules or the expectations, there is something that will happen that they may not enjoy. Reason number three, consequences help students learn the value of their decisions. Because at the end of the day, they have choices on whether or not to do what they're supposed to do. But if they get a consequence on the other end, they begin to learn the value of their choices. They begin to understand there's a connection with making the wrong choice or a poor choice when it comes to their behavior. Reason number four, consequences help students feel safe. I already know some of you are like, how can that be? Well, consequences help create boundaries around the structure and order of your classroom. And let me just tell you, boundaries help make students feel safe because they know they are protected. They know what's going to happen. They know they're in a place where chaos cannot live. Therefore, they feel safer in an environment where there are strong boundaries that are reinforced or made stronger by consequences. And reason number five, consequences help prepare students for real life. Can we just take a moment and understand 
that outside of your schools, outside of your school district, if you're not using consequences, you are setting up students to be confused and totally taken off guard when their behaviors lead to more severe or impactful consequences. Where else can a person act out and not have something negative or undesirable happen because of it? Remember, part of what schools do in addition to teaching academics is to help prepare them in conjunction with the parents for what is to come once they leave school. So there you have it, five reasons on why I believe that you need to use consequences in your classroom management system today. What are your thoughts or what has been your experience when it comes to using consequences in your classroom? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.